recent weeks, there's been an influx of threats to schools across Alabama. Good evening, I'm Brenda Ledun. This comes after the tragedy at Appalachie High School in Georgia, where two students and two teachers were killed. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell explains how these threats were locally here locally aren't being taken lightly. Valerie. Brenda, these threats are being investigated and in several cases, teens have been charged. Many of the threats have been made on social media, sparking law enforcement to pull additional resources and even increase security at schools. Even if it's a hoax, it's still scary. It's scared, nervous, concerned, um, all of the things. Just very worried that it could be one of our kids or your kids or anyone's kids. Making headlines in recent weeks, threats made to different schools across Alabama. If you choose to do it now, your timing's pretty bad because the, the attention has been focused on it. People are going to be made examples of. Just last week, a threat was made to Calera High School. Police Chief David Heitch promises any and all threats will be investigated. But what we do in a situation like this is we work with the different social media providers and we subpoena records and, you know, you can't hide. A lot of times kids think they can be an anonymous and it's very hard to be anonymous. Across the state, teens, some as young as 13, are facing charges. In Leeds and Birmingham and in Chilton, Etowah and Walker counties, to name a few. Around the state, arrests are being made. And there's a felony charge that's often uh, applicable. And uh, parents need to sit down with their kids and talk to them because getting a felony charge on your record at a young age, I mean, that sticks with you the rest of your life. That's something that's very serious. In a statement from Walker County Sheriff Nick Smith released Thursday, he says charges against the offender's parents will be considered too, coming with a request for restitution to the county for any additional resources that were allocated as a result of the threat. Chief Heitch says it's something they too look at on a case by case basis. You'll see around the country parents have been charged uh, with being involved in, in other ways with some of the violent acts and if it's appropriate, yes. But before it gets to that point, Heitch explains they try to be proactive. That includes more SROs at schools in Calera and constant communication. Every year we go and visit the home of kids that we identify as potentially problems, you know, as kids that maybe fit the profile. And, and listen, 99.9% .9 of these kids are not going to do anything like that, but you can't take chances. Now, any students or parents who see something alarming are encouraged to speak up and alert the school and police.